Mark Sanders with Blackout 33. Hey, appreciate you watching my video, subscribing. Today we're going to go over um, some new knives that I just got. My wife recently got me a uh, gift card to Amazon, so appreciate that. Well, I did a lot of reviews on a couple different knives. I was going back and forth, couldn't really decide, but for the price, I decided to go with the, um, the Moore knives. They just came in about 15 minutes ago. And I absolutely love them. They feel good in my hand. This was the uh, High Q all around Moore knife. It has a nice belt clip. It looks like there's attachments you can get so you can latch it on, kind of like a radio holster. And on the front here, on some reviews, that it says you can stick that in a uh, in the button of a shirt and a little in the little slit there, so you can get it. You can feed it through there whichever way, and you can have it hanging by your shirt set on your side. But I tell you what, these knives are sharp as a razor, straight out of the straight out of the box. If you can see that, I'm gonna try to do a little thin peek. Look at that. Look how thin that paper cut right there. I mean, this every one of them is razor sharp. But again, this is this is the um, the, the more high Q all around knife. It's got a nice rubber handle. It feels good in your hand. It don't slip. The way it's contoured, absolutely great. And it has a uh, little push thing here for your for your thumb, so you pull your knife out. It locks good. You hear a little pop. Won't come out. The second one. This is probably my favorite one so far. This is the uh, more companion. It all it's the same way. It fits in good. This one here is a uh, OD green black candle. This one is a um, is carbon steel. And again, it's just it's just as sharp. I mean, it's I'm barely. I mean, I'm barely just holding this thing. And it just it just slices. So I can't wait to get out in the field and try these. Uh, this one comes with a about the same type uh, sheath. Has a nice uh, belt holder there, belt clip. Has the little spot here, so when you're pulling it out, you can push it with your thumb here. Pull your knife out. So these are side by side. They're about the same size. This one just has the extra on the on the front there. To hook it to your shirt, and the last one I got, I, th I think these were like $13.99 a piece, something that's awesome. And this is just a plain black uh, sheath here. I guess you just run your belt here, not too big on that sheath, but this one has a plastic handle. It's a little bit smaller, and again, it's very, very sharp. But this one has a stainless steel. And uh, give you a close up of that. This is, you can tell that's um, plastic, but it has a nice little uh, piece here. It comes out so when you're cutting, your, your, your hand won't slide off and hit the, hit the blade. So I really like that. But again, this is my, this was, uh, I'm sorry, this was the, uh, the Mora Craftline Q. It's a smaller knife. I think this would be good for at least uh, skin and deer or something like that. If you were getting up there cutting meat and that sort of thing. Overall, the reviews are great on these knives. Go get you one. It's the Moras. And here they all are side by side. I'm going to go out to field test them. Hopefully I'll get you another video out there. This is Mark Sanders again on Blackout 33. You don't have to be 100% ready tomorrow. Just be 100% ready today.